Welcome to the Jeonju World Cup Stadium for the second round tie between Mexico and the United States. Two countries who faced each other so many times over the years, but never on an occasion as significant as this one. Mexico have qualified for the last 16 as winners of their group, having beaten both Croatia and Ecuador, and then drawn with Italy, having already made it through to the knockout stages. Topping a group that includes the Croatian semi-finalists from four years ago and the Italians, some achievement. The USA, on the other hand, finished second in their group with their victory in their opening match against Portugal, the foundation to their qualification. They were then held by host South Korea and beaten by Poland, but still made it through, although they start this match as outsiders thanks to Mexico's impressive recent fall. But as far as team news is concerned, Mexico are unchanged on the side that drew with Italy last time out. In stark contrast to the United States, who make four changes to the team beaten by Poland. A number of those alterations are to accommodate a likely move to a back three. Jeff Agus is out with a leg injury. Frankie Hayduk, Clint Mathis and Ernie Stewart drop to the bench. Greg Bahauta, Pablo Mastroeni, Eddie Lewis and Josh Wolf come in. While skipper Claudio Reyna moves to right wing back. Well, Mexico have never won a knockout match on foreign soil at the World Cup. The USA's sole appearance in the last eight came in the inaugural event some 72 years ago. Portuguese referee Vita Mela Pereira gets us underway. Mexico in the green shirts, kicking from left to right in this first half. And confirmation of what we expected when the teams were announced. The USA playing with a back three. Change of formation for them. They played with a 4-4-2 in the game against Poland where they had such a bad start. A couple of goals down inside the opening five minutes of that game. But it is uh, certainly in these early stages a 3-5-2 today with the Wolf up front alongside McBride. Change primarily made, you would imagine, just to go like for like with the Mexicans who were playing with their customary shape. Three at the back of Vidrio Marquez and Carmona. Torado climbing over the top, spread wide by Blanco. And the first free kick of the afternoon goes Mexico's way. Morales is blocked off by Reyna. Certainly has a reputation that Vito Melo Pereira as being a no-nonsense referee. More than happy to brandish cards where necessary. It's already an early opportunity for Mexico to work a telling ball inside the penalty area. It's in with plenty of pace and referee ball. Just had to juggle it a little bit after the flick in front of him. He reacted well, taking a hasty step to his left-hand side. Here's Bahalta. Free kick for the foul on Lewis. Taken quickly by John O'Brien, the Ajax midfielder. Morales, left wing back for the Mexicans. Start the day unbeaten in their last six games. The last defeat actually coming against the USA with a goal from Clint Mathis back in April. Mexico have won five out of six since then. Decent form, the state there by Bajalta. Not the position to give possession away. And in the end, he's come back and blocked the corner as uh, Ariano threatened to take advantage. Corner taken short by Morales. 
Blanco's done well to dig it out, but the whistle is gone. Butch is curved out of play, out for a goal kick. Brad Friedel made a little piece of history in the game against Poland, saving the penalty from Zarawski. He'd become only the second keeper to save two in the World Cup finals. Tomaszewski of Poland back in the 1970s was the first. A good season, Friedel. Part of the Blackburn Rovers side that won the League Cup this year. Fouled by Wolf on Carmona. Vitrio. Rafa Marquez, the Mexican captain, only 23 years of age, he's already been in the international for six years, so highly regarded. Vidrio plays the ball forward, Bahalta smuggling it back to his goalkeeper who to make sure that Sana didn't get in his way. And they've got the lines of communication right in the end. Blanco. Rodriguez. Marquez. Carmona. Two center halves do play much wider for Mexico than they do for the USA. Certainly the wing backs are much more attacking wing backs by and large for the Mexicans. I say frequently defending the line of five behind the ball when they don't have possession. Reina beaten here by Morales. And then O'Brien has lunged in and has caught Bugetti. That was a really poor challenge by John O'Brien. Stretching went over the top with the studs of that left boot right into the uh, right shin of Bugetti. Lucky to escape a yellow card. Message from Bruce Arena, his coach just to calm things down. O'Brien, who scored inside four minutes of the first group game against Portugal to get the USA off to such a wonderful start. Bahalta with the initial header away and then with the acrobatic clearance as well. Ariano. Carmona. Play almost exclusively in... USA territory in the early stages. This time the free kick goes the way of Eddie Pope, a handball by uh, Bugetti. Reina. USA free kick given, taken quickly. Reina striding forward. No shortage of players to pull the ball back to. Will fights McBride, who finds the net. And a gangster on a play. The USA are off to the perfect start again. Constant Mexican domination. And in their first attack of the game, the United States score. But it was all made by an excellent marauding run four from Claudio Reyna. Wolf did well to hold it up, pull it back for McBride. And from 12 yards out, that's a crisp finish. Little chance for Oscar Perez. And Brian McBride gives the United States the lead.
Well, a few of the Mexican players just had a word with the referee in the aftermath of the goal. They weren't convinced about the way that the USA took their free kick. It appears though the ball was moving, it was taken from the wrong spot, the whistle had gone, as opposed to the referee playing the advantage, but the goal does stand. The United States have got an excellent goal-scoring record, they'd only failed to score in one of their last 12 games now, which was against the Dutch. And already they have something tangible to protect. I think Mexico will be unduly phased by that because the start that we've seen to the game. The men in the green, white and red have palpably been the better team. Show much more attacking intent. But McBride's goal, the difference between the two. And he scored the winner against Portugal. First American ever to score in two different World Cups. It's Torado, turning away from Landon Donovan in the midfield. Pope stepping up for the defensive line to clear. Away by Sana. Camona. Morales seeing his, clock, his uh, cross blocked by Sana. Two balls on the pitch for a moment. So Morales will take the throw again. Reina just running out of room, it will be a Mexican throw. Can't overstate the part that he played in the goal. Already talked about the fact that the USA hadn't been getting their wing backs forward. Reina's first foray into Mexican territory. Such an effective one. Morales crosses a sail behind the line. Out of play for a goal kick. Credit as well to Wolf. That's a beautiful layback for McBride. Wonderful finish from him. He's having a good year, Brian McBride. He scored a hat trick against El Salvador in the Gold Cup in January. Two goals in this World Cup now. Test of metal as far as the Mexicans are concerned. Here's Vitria. Dorado. Right by Bajalta, who's found Lewis. Now Marquez. Fourth from the Monaco centre-half, headed away by Bajalta. And that's a throw. Carmona. Now Morales. Marcus for Vidrio. Clearance for free to lose one of four English based players in the United States starting lineup along with Reyna, Lewis, and Bahalta. Majority of the Mexican side play in their domestic league. 
Marcus obviously based in France with Monaco, Torado's at Sevilla, Blanco also in Spain with uh, Real Valladolid. The other eight all playing in the Mexican League. Between this man, Vitrio. Now Ariana. Cut out by Reyna. He plays a wing back too often, Claudio Reyna, and his positional sensibilities might be tested today. May well be an area where Mexico feel that they can get some joy with uh, Morales taking Reyna on down that flank. Carmona coming forward with possession. Ariano. Tirado. Marquez. Well, from O'Brien, he's got to be careful. Borgetti with a lovely switch of play. And again, they're taking on Reyna. And Friedel just about had the shot from Morales covered. Reyna happy to show Morales inside. Must have been beaten for pace, actually, there, uh, Brad Friedel. Couldn't nestle inside the post, though. Contribution from Ramon Morales, who's started the game brightly. He only made his debut against Brazil last summer. plays so gravitating down that left flank Blanco one back well Donovan striding forward free kick is given Marcus knew the danger of letting him go too far just came across and made sure that while well, the ball went past him Donovan didn't has three in his wall. Two additional Mexican players stand just either side of it, flanked by two Americans. Just trying to create a little bit of space, but the wall did its job. The Halter. Only able to reach it safely over the line, out of play for a USA throw. They'll be delighted with the way that things have gone in the opening 18 minutes or so. Standing that early Mexican pressure, scoring on the counter attack, and it's been a more even contest since the goal from McBride. Still, much of it has been concentrated in the half away to our right hand side. Half that Mexico are attacking. Rodriguez, Torado, now Blanco. Switch of play, trying to bring Ariano into play. Here is the right wing back. Back to Torado. 
Marquez. Camona. Blanco. Struggling to escape the shackles of Mastroeni. Eleven is Luna. And Rain has defended that very well. Javier Aguirre's first match in charge of Mexico was a 1-0 win over USA last year. There's a real familiarity between these two teams. They uh, do play each other on a very regular basis. Carmona with a very strong challenge on Wolf. Despite the yell for pain, play allowed to go on. Vidrio. Marquez. Mexico have twice previously reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup, both occasions on home soil. 1970, beaten by Italy and then 1986 again on home soil when the West Germany beat them on penalties. Possession game for the USA here. So Brian works it wide for Bahalta. Real high, hopeful up and under from him. Chased by Wolf. Torado for Morales. Reina easily able to get back goal side. Donovan. Nice pass from the outside of the right boot to bring Bahalta forward. Able to pick out McBride. Bring the to the uh, player brought in to deputise for the injured Jeff Agus. First player from Crystal Palace in England ever to play at the World Cup. Vidrio. from Lewis Wolf Marquez and Torado just got away with a loose first touch Rodriguez sends it wide Carmona Blanco linking up the play Back to Braulio Luna. Now Torado scored against Ecuador in the uh, group stage, a game that Mexicans won 2 1. In fact, it was Torado that scored the winner. Marquez looking long, but the offside flag is up. Patient defending from the uh, United States, just push forward to catch Luna offside.
the USA may well be conscious of the fact that one might not be enough. They haven't kept a clean sheet in the World Cup final since they beat England back in 1950. A run of 14 games. Keep a clean sheet here, and they are through to the quarterfinals. Long, long way to go. Past the midway stage of the first half now, and they have the advantage. Blanca. Torado. Carmona. Morales, and it took both uh, Sana and Reina to stop him, and it stopped him they did. O'Brien, losing out to Torado. It's another phase of Mexican domination where the USA can't get a kick of the ball. Blanco! Frida took a couple of steps forward to meet the ball. And in doing so, beat it away into a part of the penalty area that no Mexican player was able to follow up into. Donovan can't find McBride, who was quick to show him where the pass should have been played. Luna. A poor challenge by Eddie Pope, and that's the first yellow card of the game. Coming in from behind on Blanco. Stay up, Tony, stay up. Torado. Again, straight at Friedel. Could be a busy afternoon for Brad Friedel. Sana caught, play goes on. Just had a little nibble. I think at Bugetti. Who's the perpetrator of the foul on him? Sense that tensions between these two teams are only simmering slightly beneath the surface at the moment. Carmona. Back from Torado. Marquez. Now a change is going to be made here. The first substitution. And Morales is the player who's coming off. Luis Hernandez is coming on to replace him. Interesting change. Left wing back being replaced by a striker. Roar of approval from the Mexican support. Hernandez, who is playing his club football at the moment for America in Mexico on loan from LA Galaxy. He's come off the bench in the first two group games and off the bench in this one as well. Mario Gile changing the line of attack with that substitution. Passes being misplaced now, even the captain's at it. And return by Ariano. Some nice moments from Mexico, but just a lack of end product is blighting them at the moment. Lewis with the throw. The Houters cross, Marquez hammers it upfield. Play on after the foul on Blanco. First contribution from Luis Hernandez. The offside flag up against Buschetti. And the 
replay would suggest he was very unlucky. Stiflingly hot day, humid as well. You can see the shirts of the players sticking to them. USA aside, whose game plan is built around heavy industry, covering the hard yards. Will they be able to keep going for 90 minutes at the intensity with which they're playing off the ball at the moment? Brian back for Behalter. Donovan in turn for Pope. The referee. Sin Blanco go to ground. The uh, push in his back came from Greg Behalter. Luna. Line of four converged on him. Now Donovan. This is where the USA have already shown that they can pick off Mexico on the counter attack. Lewis. Couldn't find a way past Arellano. Looks as though he might have fouled him. There's no discernible advantage. And then as Mexico work it forward, the offside flag is up against Bugetti again. And seemingly incorrectly again. It was the earlier challenge on Eddie Lewis as he broke forward upfield. Jesus Arellano, the perpetrator. No change from Aguirre to uh, make a tactical change inside the opening half hour. But he's brought on a man who scored four goals in the 1998 World Cup, a couple against South Korea and one each against both the Netherlands and Germany. And the veteran Luis Hernandez work is magic again O'Brien helping it forward Vidrio Luis Hernandez just losing his battle to keep that in with the long free kick. McBride, score of the USA goal. Torado mopping up very neatly inside his own penalty area. Forward again towards Hernandez, but Santa saw him coming. Donovan. Give it away cheaply in the midfield. On a few occasions that USA have been guilty of that. It's won back by Mastroeni. Reina. To his captain from Sana. to mix it up and look for the long ball upfield especially now that they have two up top to aim at Ariano Blanco teasing it in Mexico have a throw Luis Hernandez 
Trying to work the angle. Sana across the cover from the right of the back three to clear, but Mexico beginning to probe. Certainly see the logic in the uh, change that Aguirre is made, bringing Luis Hernandez on. Using his experience and expertise to good effect so far. Header away, just the right side of the corner flag as far as the USA are concerned. from Marquez, Bugetti. Given away by Pope, potentially dangerously. Friedel under pressure, punches it clear, it's a poor punch, Blanco! And then Hernandez found the angle far too tight. Catalogue of errors as far as the USA were concerned. Firstly, Eddie Pope's poor clearance. And then Friedel under pressure, rather than just helping it over his own bar. Punched it clear, straight to Blanco. Good recovery save. Mexico behind, but not without chances. Tirada dispossessing Donovan. Bugetti, Luis Hernandez. United, sweeps, uh, United States sweep it forward. Lewis goes to ground and Vigero is going to get a yellow card. The first Mexico player caution. Hey guys, yes, yes. Handball. Dangerous tackle. He had everything. Eddie Lewis OK, this is the first start in the World Cup, it's only appearance so far prior to today as a substitute against South Korea. Hardly featured in the league in England for Fulham this season. Donovan helping it on, it's a chance and it's a good save. Josh Wolfe had to go first time. Vital stop from Oscar Perez. Wolf played onside by Carmona. Met it sweetly enough. And a decent stop. The USA have their first corner of the game. In from Reina. Comfortably claimed by Perez. Bowling it out quickly for Marquez. And the counter-attack is on here for Mexico. Luis Hernandez unable to hold it up. Touch which allows Sana to come back. Four from Mastroeni for McBride. Torado trying to get away from Lewis Fanning Ariano O'Brien such a competent customer in the uh, heart of the midfield for the USA does an excellent job in there as the uh, destroyer throw, helped on by McBride.
Luna. He's the man supplying the width down the Mexican left-hand side after Morales was replaced by this man, Luis Hernandez. Out his ball in. Torado. Blanco. Vidrio. Mariano knew he stood no chance of being able to control that. Trying to buy the free kick and succeeded as well. It's a daft foul for Lewis to make. Ariano. Luna. Ariano's gone from right wing back out to the left wing for a moment. He'll be brought away now by the rangy Tony Sanna. Final five minutes of the first half in which Mexico have dominated possession. But the USA have been ahead since the opening eight minutes. Back from Vidrio for Marquez. Mastroeni, nice touch ahead of him for Lewis. Wolf and McBride in the middle. Easy take for Perez. Bugetti peeling away and supplying the width on the right hand side of the penalty area but not supplying a potent delivery would have been the first to complain had the ball been played in for him like that now another opportunity and Blanco fired it in Friedel came out spectacularly Bugetti was offside Friedel did enough to put him off. Such a good goal scoring record in domestic football, Jared Bugetti. 161 goals in 282 games in the Mexican League. Scored in his last couple of internationals as well against Ecuador and Italy. His goals for Mexico have come at just about a rate of one every other game. Is so O'Brien working in wide for Lewis? So many aimless balls four towards the front two for the United States. Chased everything valiantly. But the uh, quality of service hasn't been all that it might be. It's Torado. Now Vidrio. Carmona. Challenged by Bajauta on Luis Hernandez. Marquez with the throw.
Can Mexico create one last opportunity to get themselves back on level terms before the break? Torado. Ariano. Camona. Pogetti again peeling away to the right hand side of the penalty area might have gone for goal even from quite a tight angle the aim for the far post could have caused problems with players coming in. As it is, they uh, get a throw out of it. Ariano. Tirado. Good ball inside the penalty area. And it needed the intervention of Pope to steer it away. And just as we approach half time, Mexico getting into some better positions. They need to ask some more pertinent questions to the United States. Blanco with the corner. And the half-time whistle goes. Mexico with all the possession. The United States with the lead after the early goal from McBride. At the break, it's Mexico nil, the United States won.
Back underway with the United States 45 minutes away from a place in the World Cup quarterfinals. Leading after that eighth minute goal from Brian McBride. Mexico made a change in the first half with Luis Hernandez coming on. They made another one at half time. Sigfredo Mercado has replaced Manuel Vidrio. There is Mercado taking this throw. His first contribution since coming on. Luna. Now Carmona. I'm sure that the Mexican coach Javier Aguirre saw enough in the first 45 minutes to believe that they can get themselves back into this game. The USA didn't do too much after McBride scored. Mind you, they've done an awful lot before he scored. Mexico looking the more potent around the edge of the penalty area. That's a poor chance by Mastroeni. Foul on Blanco, and then uh, refuses to give the ball back to Mexico for the free kick to be taken. And he's earned a yellow card. Second USA player to have his name taken. An early set piece in the second half for Mexico. Plenty forward ahead of Blanco, who's swung it in with pace. Good defensive header, which O'Brien's going to be able to help further clear. At least should be able to. He's just presented it straight to Ariano. Friedel again elects the punch clear. Now, was there a shove on the edge of the penalty area? Yes, there was. Outside the box rather than in it. But the United States haven't got going at the start of this second half. It all came about after O'Brien was sloppy in possession, gave the ball away. Friedel's punch not the best. And then a shove on the edge of the penalty area, which has invited real pressure now. Five in the wall. What can Blanco mastermind from here? Marquez is also standing close, taking what might prove to be more than just a watching brief. It does look as though it's going to be Blanco to hit this. It is Blanco! And on two occasions, the United States wall stood firm. have to try and draw on the spirit of the uh, 1998 World Cup campaign when they twice came back from 2-0 down in the group stages to draw matches against Belgium and the Netherlands As came back from 1-0 down to beat South Korea having to do it the hard way again today far by Carmona on McBride giving the United States this free kick swung in towards Eddie Pope away from Marquez and the United States doing their best to try and waste time that's how the referee saw it and Wolf is cautioned Eddie Lewis with the throw helped on dangerously cleared effectively by Luna Sana. A 
Ricardo. On the right of the three centre halves now, replacing Vidrio, Marquez. Back from Luis Hernandez, Torado. Trying to escape his shadow, O'Brien. Mercado. Rodriguez. Nice turn to find Luis Hernandez. What can El Matador do from here? But how to make sure that he can't do too much until he goes to the ground. Another free kick given away. The United States have to make sure that they stop inviting the Mexican players to go to ground. Yes, contact was minimal, he made the most of it, but as soon as he felt hand on the shoulder, that was the invitation that he needed. Freak again from Luna, and Friedel again, backpedalling, did enough. And the whistle is gone. Only just did enough, Mike. Crossbar did the rest for him. Close to just paddling that into his own net. Blanco with the corner. Luna. It's another corner. Mexico getting closer. Pope battling with Bugetti. Plenty of shirt pulling going on in there. Second Mexico corner of the second half is going to have to be retaken. And a yellow card is shown to Bahalta for pulling. Now, until the corner is taken, the ball's not active, so it's not a penalty. And any foul that's committed before the ball is taken is uh, punished by a card, but not by a penalty. Four United States players in the book now. Blanco takes the corner. Friedel's cry of away, heeded. Back in again by Blanco. There's a shove. It's a free kick to the USA. Rodriguez leaning into Mastroeni. Mexico have only been beaten twice this year in 12 games. Lost to Serbia in a friendly, also to the United States, who are the last team to beat them. Is history going to repeat itself here? That one of 10 wins that the USA have had so far in 2002. Defending is becoming of the last ditch variety. Bugetti. Chesting it down beautifully for his strike partner. Bahauter in there in the nick of time. Luna with the in swinging corner. Now, did that hit a hand? Mexicans appealing for a penalty. When the whistle does go, it's a free kick to the USA. But the appeals were instant. And you can see why O'Brien has punched that clear away from Blanco. Blatant penalty. Not sure how the officials have missed that. The referee can only give what he sees, of course. But he'd like to think that the officials between them 
somebody would have had an angle to spot what had happened there. John O'Brien, very, very lucky. Rush of blood to the head, or a calculated risk, one or the other, but he's got away with it. Pope under pressure. Four from O'Brien. Donovan. Serrado. Nick back by the USA. Getting the bodies forward again quickly on the counter attack. Well, the shot eventually came and it was easy for Perez. The initial miscue was a wild one. Breathless games, Ariano brings it forward. O'Brien showing great athleticism to come back and clear. Carmona. Sliding change from Mastro Any. Plenty going on now. Those simmering tensions. Really coming to the surface, Serrado is leaving his foot in there on Mastroeni. It was the initial infringement that the referee took exception to. Mercado! Just too high for Bugetti. Well, I'm not sure how O'Brien has got away with that. And the United States will certainly believe that this could just be their day. Get away with the foul as blatant as that inside the penalty area. Unspotted by the officials. Okay. The Mexicans, to their credit, might have made a lot more of it than they did. It was so clear. of this face Germany As the quarterfinals begin to take shape just over half an hour for the Mexicans to find something Marquez looking for Luis Hernandez he's done well to keep it alive Ball in, not of the requisite quality, and then a foul by Bugetti on Reyna. USA really living on their nerves. Mexico have to make sure that they stay patient. Does look as though a goal is only a matter of time. USA's first change, Josh Wolf off to be replaced by Ernie Stewart, who comes on for his 80th cap. Man has scored the best part of 100 goals in the Dutch area to be seen. <laughs> Sanna motoring forward. Now Reina. Needs to stay by Perez. But Bright, a player with great aerial ability. He's had to improvise there, flip the neck to try and generate the power. Friedel, again coming out and electing to punch there ahead of Luis Hernandez. Blanco. Hernandez unable to turn. Rodriguez setting it back for Torado. Unable to add to the uh, goal that he scored in the group stage. Great goalkeeping by Friedel because he knew that a collision was inevitable.
Torado. Carmona. Mercado. done by Blanco, Luna, Luis Hernandez, that well, was the right run and the right pass but just a little bit too heavy, the margins are pretty fine at the moment, Mexico will feel that in this second half where they've been so completely dominant they've done everything but score, Another free kick is given. This one against Bahalta, who has to be careful having already received the yellow card and been spoken to by the referee. Really certainly getting enough practice at dealing with these long range free kicks. Can Mexico make one of them count? Quick steps across his line, he knew he had it covered as Luna misses the target. Well, it's five years since his only international goal, Braulio Luna, which came against Saudi Arabia in the 1997 Confederations Cup. And he's certainly due one. Reina. Marquez just easing his man out of the way. Mercado. Rodriguez. Luna. Luna's continued his run forward. Pass back to him wasn't great. Mastroeni can knock it away. Sana Donovan through the... Legs of Mercado. Hernandez. Looking for the free kick. No real complaints when it wasn't given. O'Brien winning the ball back cleanly. Now Sanna again. And that will be a free kick. Foul by Torado. O'Brien. Extravagant long range one two with Reyna. And the appeals that the ball had gone out of play heeded. It's going to be a Mexican throw. O'Brien just guiding it into space for the busy Eddie Lewis. It's a wonderful ball in and a second goal. Landon Donovan doubles the lead. Another sucker punch for Mexico to withstand. Well, they've hardly used the width at all in this game, the USA. But on the two occasions that they have, they've been able to supply potent delivery. Landon Donovan on the end of a wonderful Eddie Lewis cross. And the United States are in dreamland. Two goals to the good.
in a match in which they've been second best, they have a 2-0 advantage. Lewis with a great delivery, brilliant run. And the 20-year-old American midfielder attacked it with real conviction. Bruce Arena's men lead Mexico 2-0 with a little over a quarter of the game remaining. Luis Hernandez. That's going to be a yellow card for diving. Got away with the last one outside the penalty area when he was dispossessed by O'Brien. Needs must at this stage of the game. Uh -oh. the replay is pretty definitive. Pope nearly made contact with him. Hernandez went to ground, certainly much, much easier than he should have done, even if contact had been made. Threw himself to the floor and is booked as a consequence. Well, now a test of Mexico's resolve. I mentioned earlier, they have this World Cup history of being able to come back from implausible positions. Twice in the 98 World Cup, they came back from 2-0 down to get it to 2-2 after 90 minutes. They take that here and now to get the game into extra time. Luna. Torado. Mercado. USA knowing that they have that safety blanket now of the second goal. Certainly, it's looked the last 20 minutes or so as if they need a second goal. This man has provided it, Landon Dolovan. Again, the United States doing good work from a wide position. Layoff from Stewart. Wasn't too far away from being a third. Beautifully struck by O'Brien. Didn't lack for power. Just couldn't get it to stay down. Pope loses out to Hernandez. Blanco. He's got one change left at their disposal. Four from Ariano. Blanco teasing it back over the top. Ariano. Able to turn. Back for Rodriguez. It's a Mexican throw. Blanco. Fouled by Mastroeni and there's a little comeback between the pair of them again. Mastroeni, of course, has been booked. So too now is Blanco. That's seven in the book now. Three from Mexico, four from the USA. Blanco booked for his retaliation. What can Blanco muster from this free kick? Swept it with pace. Marquez can't hit the target. McBride did enough. What earned Blanco the yellow card? His angry reaction after the foul on it by Mastroeni. Perez with time to take the second and third touches that he needed. Back to him from Carmona. Oh! 
Could have been worse. Be great, but it's only a corner. His heart was in his mouth for a moment there. First corner that the USA have won in the second half, gifted to them. Another goal now, and it is all over. Plenty of whip on the delivery from Lewis. Nice hit the post. Goalkeeper probably had it covered, but it was Ernie Stewart with the effort. Perez, sure enough, did dive inside it to make sure it wasn't going to creep in. Again, the Mexicans work it forward quickly for Blanco. Buschetti, Hernandez kept it in. Salas knocked it away. Baffetorado. Luna. And yeah, Friedel doesn't have a save to make. Mexico still knocking on the door. Should Bajetti have gone for the far post rather than his strike partner? Mario Reyna's had his injury problems. He missed the win against Portugal. Has played in each of the last four games now. United States standing on the cusp of a quarter-final place. First time since 1930. Could easily have been knocked out in the group stage, of course. They only made it through to the last 16 after... Portugal lost to South Korea in a game which, had they drawn, would have been enough to go through at the USA's expense. Blanco, Tirado, and Friedel beats the effort from Carmona away. It's a strike by Salvador Carmona. Another corner and a way swinger from Luna. Just too high for Bugatti. Ariano. Carmona. Too long for Hernandez. Every misplaced pass, the USA getting closer. There's another routine save by Friedel. <laughs> Only kept one clean sheet the last seven matches, which came against Jamaica in a friendly last month. They have the luxury of being position they can concede one here far by Carmona the tactical plaudits will certainly go to Bruce Arena if they hold on Been able to soak up the pressure, change of formation to a back three today has worked. Ball in from Reyna, easy for Perez. Marquez. Over the top from Hernandez, repelled by Bahalta, then by O'Brien. Mastroeni. Ernie Stewart. Calming influence. 
And there in the thick of the battle, Ernie Stewart, so much experience. Lewis. Four from Stewart again. One back by Ariano. Now Carmona. Mastrani. And the round shoulder style of Sana is able to make his way forward towards the edge of the penalty area. Stewart. Well, worth a snapshot from distance. It was a long way out. I understand his willingness to take it on with too many other options around him. Cut across the ball and blazes wide. on by McBride, nowhere in particular, just out of harm's way. Carmona. Torado. Had it well by McBride to find O'Brien. Donovan. That's a lovely ball. Decent challenge as well from Torado to get it away from Stewart. Marquez. Torado. Carmona for Luna. Substitution imminent, as you can see, it's uh, Alberto Aspe who will be on in a moment for Mexico. And they can now make that change. Uh, I guess it's Torado who will come off, yes. And Aspe, the 35-year-old, comes on for his first appearance in this World Cup. Played in and scored in the 94 and 98 editions of the tournament. Could well be the last international appearance of his career if uh, they go out today. He made his debut some 13 years ago, back in the 80s. Or just in behind Blanco. And Rayner can shepherd it over the line. Second chase for the USA. We'll see the withdrawal of striker McBride to be replaced by the veteran midfielder Kobe Jones on for his 156th appearance for the USA. the veteran of the 1994 and 1998 World Cups. Jones in the action straight away. That's been given as a USA throw. Jones certainly in the thick of the action straight away. Lanka's such a tired one. One back by Stewart, Mastroeni. Sana. Jones. Lunging challenge on him. Yellow card. Aspect. Just about his first contribution since coming on. That he's touched the ball yet. He's certainly taken Jones out.
Mexican frustration coming to the surface. Big ten minutes ahead for Bruce Arena and his men. Javier Aguirre knows that if there's any way back for Mexico, they've got to retain their discipline. Jones taking on Luna and beating him. Shot on Ariano came from Lewis. Mexico looking to take the free kick as quickly as they can. Marcus four towards Luna. He's been fouled now. Reign of the guilty party. Well, they made all three changes. Luna's going to have to try and continue. Very sore one for it. Mexico temporarily down to 10 men. It's a free kick is swept inside the box. The offside flag is up. <laughs> Luna's going to do everything he can to continue. The yellow card shown to Friedel. I think that's for kicking the ball away. Once the offside flag had come up, the subsequent shot came in. And booted it back from whence it came. So that's nine in the book now. the USA have had to come out fighting backed in against the ropes on numerous occasions in this game second best almost from the first whistle but potent on the counter attack another cynical challenge another yellow card this time Carmona and that's five bookings apiece now the try and count goes into double figures. Donovan, the player, upended. Lewis with the free kick, he's trying to waste as much time as he can. Swoops in at the second time of asking, and wins the corner. Hey, hey. They're nearly there. This will be a famous win. Mexico's record of never winning a knockout tie in the World Cup on foreign soil, destined to continue for at least another four years. Jones. Stewart. Mexico taking the direct route upfield, but Mastroeni able to mop up Sana 
Offside flag up against Donovan. And another very clumsy challenge off the ball. Mexico know they're going down now, they're not going down without a fight as Marquez takes O'Brien out. Red Mist is descending. Four minutes to go. Ariano. Blanco. Straight into the hands of Friedel. Well, the United States knocked out in the group stage in 1990. And in 1998, they were actually classified last of the 32 teams in it. Four years ago, they did make it out of the group on home soil in 94, but lost to Brazil at this stage. They've waited for a quarter-final for generations, and it's barely three minutes away now. Watering encounter for the USA fans against Germany in Ulsan. Mexico have lost their way, they've lost belief in the last 10 minutes. They know it's beyond them now. Oh, it was a horrible challenge. Marquez on Jones, and he's red. Well, he got away with one on O'Brien just a couple of minutes ago. But Marquez sent off. Clattering into Kobe Jones, a really dangerous, cowardly challenge. Well, that's bordering on assault. It's gone in to kick him and headbutt him. Jones back on his feet. And that was a disgusting premeditated challenge from the Mexican captain. Signposted really by a milder version on O'Brien just a few moments previously. Stewart. Mastro any diving in again. One thing the United States have to make sure is that they don't get any players sent off as well. It's obviously suspension that have um, much more far-reaching ramifications for them. Mastroeni is one of the five they've had booked. Jones, unhurt after the uh, challenge from Marquez. Now Ariano has a go at it. That was Mercado, as you can see, raking his studs down the back of Jones's leg. Clearly, a fair bit of history involving Kobe Jones. Mexicans wanted to leave their mark. Fourth, Mariano. Five additional minutes to be played. Five minutes separating the USA from a place in the quarterfinals. Two goals up and a man up as well. 
ball from Rodriguez. Blanco. Spreading it wide for Luna. Goal back now for Mexico. Will really have the American nerves twitching. Luna. All eyes on the referee, just for a moment, as Rodriguez went down, no appeals from him. The Americans are going to make their final change, and it's Yamosa who's going to come on. And Mastoreni, sensibly being withdrawn, he's on a yellow card. Yamosa, the New England Revolution player, on for the closing moments. Friedel happy just to get it out of harm's way. Ariana with the throw. Come on. No, Brian. It might yet get better for the USA. Rainer's ball forward, not the potent one that they needed. He had options. Be frustrated that he couldn't pick somebody out there. It was three against two for a moment. The most of fouls Blanco. Wait by Pope. Perez taking the throw. And now there's turning one way and then the other. Have a little back heel flick. Held high inside the area by Aspect. Lewis gets it clear. Now Jones. Should just be able to run the clock down. He'll take it down towards the corner flags. No need to deliver a ball inside the penalty area. But Donovan should have made it three. Well, he's already scored once and his reaction speaks volumes. It was a glorious opportunity. Hits the target there, he scores. He's only eight yards out. Not a mistake you would imagine will have any significance at all. Blanco. Mosa putting the ball out of play for a corner. As we go into the fifth and final minute of stoppage time. In from Blanco. Straight out by Reyna. And again. Change of angle for Blanco's delivery. That's out of play for a USA goal kick, and with it will be the clean sheet, the victory, and the place in the last eight. They've done it, the United States are through. Goals from McBride and Donovan, making it Mexico nil, United States two.